alkaline battery tear down we've already taken off the PVC cover that can be used when dissolved in acid so you can reuse the plastic battery we're already starting to open the ends here Use a screwdriver. Have to carefully do that. Have to wear gloves. There's acid, so not powerful acid, but still. Peel it back, peel the pliers. You may get some gas, don't worry about that. There we go. Gas sound. Some acid in that, that's why I'm wearing the gloves. Covering the materials inside. Peel back the can. Let's take some doing some strength. Just need to peel it. It's a steel can that can be recovered. Melted if you have the ability to melt down steel. Take some doing. There we go, start the peel. See the can peeling off. Move the end stop and on. Screwdriver. Don't watch that. Thumb's broken through the glove. There we go. That's a steel pin and the plastic stopper. Just glued in there. The steel cap. And that has acid on it. That's going in there glass here. Don't want it touching the plastic, it can melt it. See that blue stuff there? It's potassium hydroxide mixed with water and zinc powder. More about that in a bit. Peel this can open it. Black stuff falling off. The edge. That will be collecting. Try and pull out the potassium hydroxide cover. Sometimes it comes out in one go, others it don't. It's covered in a plastic wrap. No, nope. need some of it. Don't want to touch that stuff. Got a little bit on me there. Not good. That'll 
it'll take me skin to wash that off with some baking soda. Continue to peel the steel can off all the way to the end. Careful not to cut yourself. Potassium is salt and it will sting. Got the whole steel can off. We keep that for metal salvage. Some steel. Now this black stuff from the core that has manganese dioxide and coal powder mixed within it. Now, if you want elemental magnesium, uh, manganese, you'll need to react that with thermite in order to retrieve it off the top and then you'll get pure elemental manganese from within this black stuff coal powder inside is relatively easy to burn off break it off okay. not particularly dangerous this, right, a car full of potassium hydroxide mixed with water and zinc powder. Now that can be neutralized with baking soda in a solution in order to retrieve the zinc powder which will float to the bottom, being metal. Whereas the potassium obviously will be soluble. wrapped in plain paper, soaked in water, that is the electrolyte. Just done like that. You can see the potassium hydroxide within, mixed with the zinc powder. It's a greyish blue material paste. As I said, you can recover the zinc powder from that. It should be pure zinc metal within. So there's plenty of salvage within an AA battery if you know where to find it. Manganese dioxide mixed with coal powder, potassium hydroxide and zinc powder. PVC and a steel can. Grab it. I'll tear down video soon.